Hello everyone, this is Chinmay from Make Auto Clinic. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and today I am with one of the bike, in fact one of the tool. Today I am going to tell you or show you how to remove the rear axle of the uh, Royal Enfield motorcycle. It's a common tool for all the even old bikes because um, almost all the bikes are having same type of axle. Particularly this rear axle has got um, a very uh, different fitting though it's with it looks very much normal but um, what happens when you try to remove the rear wheel you basically hit on the bolt which you don't need to company has given you one facility from where you can pull the axle but it is very uh, tedious what we can say is like if you put the bar inside and pull it out then it's very difficult to pull out because sometimes what happens when you're working on the bike when you're whenever you're getting the bike in the workshop for the first time you don't know whether it is serviced properly or not also there is one more thing the silencer is basically exactly near to the near to the bow um, the nut even in upswift also you must have seen the upswift silencer is exactly opposite to the or near to the nut uh, where you can't even put the spanner properly to remove the nut so giving torque is out of question but when the axle is stuck up then at that time uh, sometimes it is necessary to, to hammer the bolt from the uh, from the other end but it is very difficult as i said that the silencer will never allow you so that is what I'm going to show you how to remove the rear axle of the Royal Enfield. Uh, that this kind of axle is also there in Himalayan and uh, definitely it will work on other models as well. Only uh, the axle which has got hexagonal shape then it won't work. This is only feasible for the axle end or the axle which has got no hexagonal end. I am going to show you this uh, demo over here. Uh, first of all, since we are in the workshop, so I am going to remove the nut by using my pneumatic gun. Just have to remove the 24mm nut. You may have castle nut or the nylock nut. Just have to remove the nut first and then leave it aside. If you are outside on the road, then of course you will have to use spanner only since uh, the facility of the pneumatic is not available i'm very much sure so you can use the spanner so you may have to use either ring spanner or the open end spanner it depends on the silencer or the position so according to that you can remove that nut but of course on the road i'm not sure whether you can use this tool so this is the end of the this is the one end of the axle as you can see there is a hole in the center of that axle and here you have to basically put the screwdriver to pull the axle out now what happens generally that you can't even use longer rod and if you try to use then it is very difficult to put it inside because the you we we don't we do not know where the that uh, hole will come it, uh, the position may get changed due to what we won't be able to put the rod inside so it is very difficult so here in the workshop at least you can keep the uh, you know control on that so this is the basically sliding hammer which we have in the workshop it's very much easy to use and you just hook up the unit on the axle this is basically sliding hammer which uh, pulls outside so now i'm going to hook up the tool on the axle you just have to synchronize the hole of the tool and the axle just have to put inside the spin and secure with the nut because uh, while hammering there is a possibility what if the bolt comes out of the axle then you may get uh, you know uh, damage uh, axle or something it's very hard but still now you just have to use the hammer like this way as you can see the axle is coming out of the wheel very easily without any efforts and uh, this is basically to avoid the thread damages because sometimes we have seen that people are hammer people basically hammer uh, on this axle from another end which is basically thread side if you really want to do that then at least put the nut on that and then you can do the hammering but remember best is to use such kind of a tools where you will be having less damages 
these threads are very much secured right now no damages from the end and axle is perfectly out of the motorcycle that's the best um, you know tool what we can have in the workshop so guys always uh, maintain your quality to win whenever you are repairing the motorcycle so thanks for watching and have a great day